If you're working with different chemicals, you may well come across a hydrofluoric acid burn. Now these are really serious because there's an acid that will burn into the skin and cause a lot of pain, a lot of damage, and also you've got problems with the vapour as well coming off of it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to make sure you stabilise the scene and make sure it's safe. So approach when it's safe, remove the person away from where they've got the burn if possible, and you need to really saturate it with fresh clean water for about 30 minutes. Uh, remove any clothing that's over the area and check the patient thoroughly to make sure there's no other burns. For example, if they've got the acid on their hand, have they then dripped it down their leg and things like that, which means we need to cut that clothing off and irrigate that area. As far as the first aid treatment, once you've done that, obviously activate the emergency medical services and tell them exactly what's what. Keep the area safe so no one else can go near that area. Make sure that uh, any spill has been cleaned up in accordance with the recommendations of that particular product that's been spilt. So this is a hydrofluoric acid kit. Now this kit is great because it can, you irrigated the wound, but then you can use this kit to treat the patient uh, temporarily until the emergency services arrive. So the kit opens up. In here you've got a bottle of saline solution. Now we said about irrigating uh, the burn, yes that's important, there's no way you're going to have enough water in here to do that with, but this is good to just um, flush off to make sure it's clean before you then further treat it. Um, in here also you've got some scissors to cut away clothing and you've got gloves. Now with the gloves in, in the kit, these are standard gloves. Now some of these kits do have special gloves which are good for acid, so you need to be a member as a first aider. Just because you've got those gloves on does not mean that you are going to be immune from any damage from the acid. So you need to be very careful. Usually in the workplace there'll also be uh, special gloves that you can use um, to keep yourself safe. So if you are dealing with stuff you may need to change the gloves over. Uh, but if you've irrigated the wound really, really well, um, these gloves would be great for just dealing with the burn uh, itself. Now you've also got some, some cream here and this gel is what you would actually apply over to the burnt area and there's quite a lot of it in here because you just really want to put this on so it's quite, uh, quite thick and this will help treat it. Now this is going to be a very painful uh, burn to have but this should help um, hopefully in time before the emergency medical services can arrive to deal with it. So these kits are something that if you do have a risk in your workplace uh, of hydrofluoric acid burns then this is a, an absolute must have uh, because no other first aid treatment you'd have lying around would actually do. So this is the kit you want to have. And also make sure that people who are uh, first aiders who are likely to come across these burns and also employees will know where this kit is. So put them in um, obvious places where the acid burn is likely to happen. If you need to buy any of these kits, they're available directly onto our website or on firstaidonline.co.uk.